Hi, in this video we will learn about the next topic that is nothing but marks card. In marks card I have this option named as tool tip. Tool tip is a powerful tool which helps you to understand the values and the numbers which are associated with that particular graph. Let us see that. Now I am working in the workbook named as marks card that is tool tip and I am working in the same data source global superstore 2017. So what I will do is I will show you with the help of three examples bar chart, line chart and the maps. I will create some bar chart here first of all. I will just double click on the sales and then double click on the subcategory. I have got this bar chart itself. Now whenever I keep my cursor at this place, okay, so I am getting the subcategory name and I am getting the sales name that is given here. For any column, if I select this column here, I will be getting subcategory and I will be getting as sales. What if I want to find out, this is nothing but a tool tip. What if I want to find out something extra in that? I want to find out a discount, the market, the sales or the profit, anything. So first of all, if you just keep your cursor like this on any place, this is known as your tool tip. If you want, you can add extra elements. How do you add it? Suppose out apart from sales, I want to understand the profit done. So pick up the profit, drop into the tool tip. Now if I just keep my cursor here and if you observe, apart from sales, I am getting the profit. Let's see if I want the discount tool tip. And if I keep my cursor here, you see there is a discount which shows in the tool tip itself. Let's say if I want something else, I want the quantity pick up and drop into this place. If I select this, I will be getting as quantity also if you see. These are when you pick up the measures, it is easy to identify. Let's see if I pick up some dimension from here, if I pick up as state and drop into this tool tip. Now if I select this option, it says state as star. Star means it has more than one value. If you see state is given as star, when there are more than one values in that particular region or any uh, subcategory, it will display as a star. So anything if you pick up from this dimension, mostly it will give you as star. If I pick up here, it says a star. If there is only one value, it will give one value itself. That is very easy for this part, right? Let's see the next one. If I have to go with the line chart. So there is only the line chart which is created here and the sales which are given. So if I keep my cursor at this place, years of order date and that is given as sales. Now if I want to see the quantity, pick up and drop into the quantity, select this one, it will get the quantity. Same process applies everywhere. So what I will do is, I will pick up this maps again in the tooltip maps and let's see if I create a map here with the help of the same method, double click on the country, uh, pick up the sales and drop into the, I will pick up the profit and drop into this color itself. These are the profits done. Now if I keep my cursor here, I will get country and profit. If you want something else, let's say if you want the sales, pick up and drop into the tooltip. And if I click on this place, I am getting the sales, profit and country. So these are the same method everywhere. Again if I click on this tooltip, okay, I will just click on cancel. If I click on this tooltip, I will get an editor which says as edit tooltip, where you can change the font, the font size, bold, italic, underline. There is alignment you can change. If you want, you can insert some more elements. Okay, this will be very important for you. If I just press enter. Now, if you see the country is given as the country name, profit is given as profit, sales as sum of profit. If you want to add some more elements here, you can just click on this drop down. You can add the data source name. That is my data source name. If you want, you can add data update time, sheet name, workbook name. So sheet name is given as tooltip maps workbook name is given as this one so there are so many functions or so many elements which you can add here country latitude longitude everything so if i select as country you see there's a country added how do i check it if i click on ok if i keep my cursor and if you see that's a country which is added united states so if i keep my cursor here it says the country is nothing but canada here so this is very important and easy method to help a user to understand what exactly is the data where it belongs to what is the uh, you know profit what is the sales done and uh, what is the quantity and everything you can analyze with the help of this tooltip so i hope you're able to understand how do you work with the marks card in the marks card we have seen how to work with tooltip that's all for this video